What's up mga kapadres? Welcome back to our channel. Again, this is Mike from Soul Padres. And we're back with another sneaker unboxing video. By the way, uh, here at Soul Padres, we do sneaker unboxings. Uh, we do uh, detailed reviews on toys and collectibles. And other stuff. Lahat ng bisyo ng mga lalaki. Toys for the big boys and whatnot. And soon, hopefully, if I'm okay yung pandemic, meron tayong mga papawis eh, basketball sessions and basketball shoe performance reviews. So, with no further ado, let's get to it. So here we have a brown box uh, that was shipped in today. I've been waiting for it for around 5 days since I got the W. And nakita nyo naman sa ating thumbnail and title kung ano siya. So, let's open it. Ayan. And see, it's from Green Tea Incorporated. Pag Green Tea Incorporated, meaning it's from Nike Park Park Access. Uh, yan. Green, Green Tea Incorporated yan sa Philippines. So you can see guys, ito yan. It's from Park Access. Take it out of the box. And here we have it. It's an orange, old school style kind of a box. So, the details of the box. Uh, personally, this is the first time I've encountered or seen or at least held a box like this in hand. As in ever, never pa ako nakahawak ng gantong style ng box. Um, pa. And here, yan, makita nyo. May nakalagay, AJKO1, USA 10.5. So, this is my size, my mine and uh, Vaughn size, but this is a uh, hookup for our friend, Ash. Yan, uh, if you watch our previous videos, uh, you know that I think this is in a, uh, one of our first ever videos. Uh, I mentioned na siya yung bumili or hinukap ko ng Jordan 11 breads. Yan. Another hookup sa trainer namin. Dati naming boss ni Kapadring Bon ang pinakababaerong trainer sa balat ng lupa sa BPO industry. Yan. So, let's open it. Yan. Ito yung receipt. Sabi lang natin to. Price is SRP 7345. And of course, hookup natin dyan is walang patong ano lang, sagutin nyo lang yung shipping mula dito hanggang bahay nya so, loob ng box ano makakaiba nothing special with the paper and ayan dumudungo ko na sya ang bango ang foggy the Air Jordan 1 KO and napunit na naman yung paper pangalawa na ni Nike Park Access na mag-send ng napupunit na paper pero okay lang yan hindi naman tayo maarte hindi rin maarte yung magiging may-ari na ito before we get into the details a uh, uh, few fun facts ng Air Jordan 1 KO uh, back in the day they were calling it um, Air Jordan 1 knockoffs ibig sabihin ng knockoffs is parang peke so, or imitation. So, hindi siya po knock off, kundi knock out. Yan. So, the reason why people are haters, if you if you want to call them, we're calling it that. Uh, kasi, uh, as we all know, yung Jordans and shoes back in the 80s and, and 90s were majorly uh, made out of uh, leather uppers and rubber outsoles. Kaya, durable and supportive and mabigat. So, yun yung reasons doon. So, for this one, yan, yung upper niya kasi is canvas. Similar to what you have in a Chuck Taylor shoe. Yun. So, that's the reason kung bakit siya tinawag, tinatawag ng mga tao na knock-off o parang fake. More facts about the shoe is was released in, uh, first released I think in the 80s. I'm not, not specifically specifically sure on what year uh, if you know guys or if you can search so feel free to comment down below and then the second release was in 2014 
I think in on August or August 23 something like that. And ito yan, 2021 na. And um, what I can say and from what I found out, uh, this is closer to the OG OG release uh, because the 2014 release uh, didn't have a retro look to it. It looked new. And this of course this pair also looks new, but this is way way closer to what the OG pair looked like. So for those parts, let's get into it. A few things I noticed uh, differences ng 2014 dito sa 2021, and then I'll be touching on the details, tech specs, and materials too. For number one, I uh, noticed uh, yung overall shape. 2021 pair is better, release is better. I'll insert a picture of how the 2014 uh, toe box look. So, and yung heel shape din. I think this one, ito, this one I think medyo mas mas slanted tong part na to compared sa ano, sa 2021. Ito, ito one of the most noticeable features uh, which is what I meant er, um, when I said earlier na yung 2014 uh, release didn't look like an um, like the OG release uh, for this part, ito. Ito midsole uh, is uh, off whiteish or off white talaga siya mismo. For uh, 2014, uh, ano siya, clean white lang talaga siya. Another thing I found when I opened the shoe up is this one. Ito, yung size, yung size tag dapat meron parang yung, yung if uh, you're familiar. So usual shoes, uh, there's a stickered uh, size tag sa loob. But for this one, it's just, it's ano eh, yun, talagang old school style fresh from the factory. 10 and a half, hindi siya 10.5 eh, o oh, 10 and a half. 201108XC I don't know actually what that means if you guys know please feel free to comment down below also uh, this part uh, I'd like to mention this is a uh, nice leather uh, I actually can't tell if it's synthetic or genuine either way uh, it feels really good on uh, in hand and masarap sya piga piga in yan. so may tawag dito I just forgot what it is yan ito detach yung yung collar niya itong part ng to ng collar and for the laces uh, this one is a uh, uh, out of uh, the eh, out of everything with the, this release this is the only downside for me uh, my only gripe uh, which is the laces uh, it's not the usual flat laces that we get in uh, Jordan ones retro high OGs uh, medyo parang for some reason, para siyang naghihimol-mol tapos hindi siya yung magandang flat laces. And then, moving on is to one of my favorite parts of the shoe. And uh, I'll also mention a difference uh, na itong 2021 sa 2014. Ayan. For the 2014 uh, release, it was black with a red Nike and swoosh logo. This one is uh, obviously a white insole. Uh, which is really really fluffy and uh, thick it's a uh, PU insole uh, PU stands for polyurethane and so yan uh, first time uh, ako lang makahawak ng ganito kakapal and ganito kagandang klaseng insole uh, especially from Jordan brand sa buong buhay ko uh, wish uh, all of my other shoes had a uh, nice and thick insole like this one and ito yung may anti dulas siya para siyang wool like na uh, your socks won't slip however I'm just not sure if this one will hold up well sa 2014 pairs hindi, hindi nabubura agad to eh. so hopefully this one is uh, hindi hindi ganun kadali kabura unlike with other Jordan ones na uh, isang lakad mo lang ubos agad yung logo sa insole and one thing I found uh, uh, in this uh, shoe is it has hope you can hear that it has board last if I'm not mistaken uh, I've, I've checked other uh, shoe tubers uh, international shoe tubers who got an early review on this and none of them mentioned that uh, so I think I'm the first uh, to pull out the insole and check what's in it Ayan, pa, mayroon siyang board last which is similar to talagang mga old school na sapatos so 
kudos to Jordan Brand they're doing their job with uh, talagang pag sinabing retro and OG talagang or remastered or whatever is talagang parehas na parehas dun sa luma and for the tech specs yan there's a shoe I forgot what's the name of the shoe kung saan kinuha ito itong outsole pattern nya but obviously it's similar to the Air Jordan 1 and Air Force 1 I'll insert uh, the name of the shoe uh, within the video and then I'm actually not sure what are what the other tech specs in it is uh, from what I've heard uh, there's no air unit in the heel so all of the comfort step in comfort and cushion is coming from this super thick insole that's the reason why it's that thick and probably if there's no air unit in the back uh, it's just uh, probably a PU wedge or a PVA wedge or maybe nothing at all I'm not just not sure so if you guys know please feel free to comment down below but I'm betting it's a PU wedge with no air so uh, moving on to the extra laces of the shoe and uh, so you guys saw it factory lace with the black ones and another difference from the 2014 and 2021 versions or releases is that uh, this year's release came with three laces and the 2014's came with just the black and the white so ito ngayon, we now have the red laces too so kapadring ash, meron kang tatlong laces na pagpipilian, you can mix and match depende sa, sa lakad pag may gimmick si, si idol ash pag ito si girlfriend wa girlfriend wa niya, girlfriend to eh chokla <laughs> and lastly for the tongue uh, at first uh, at first glance I thought it was uh, a nylon tongue like the usual retro high OG ones pero pag ginawa kanyo siya guys it feels sabi ng iba para siyang shirt eh, but for me it kind of feels like a like a north face jacket para siyang jacket yung material niya yun so yun nga super ganda ng colorway na to super uh, talagang if you're an OG fan Chicago Jordan 1 you definitely can't go wrong with it uh, another gripe aside sa laces is yung material nya uh, if you're a chucks wearer uh, maliban sa other Jordan shoes if you're, you wear chucks you'll know na uh, canvas is pag nabasa ka pag ulan na May na ngayon pag June well hindi naman tayo babayahe araw-araw dahil pandemic pa pero kung uh, under normal circumstances normal na panahon kung ito sapatos mo uh, I'd rather not use it on a daily basis sa, sa months ng June and onwards kasi tagulan yun even if may car ka matchambahan ka sa puddles sun showers bigla umulan yari ka talaga dun oh and one more thing meron siyang parang pull tab sa likod and another difference I'll try to insert a picture of uh, for comparison is itong heel part uh the 2014s had a more boxy shape dito sa part na to ito more more poggy sexier more sleek or more more on a streamlined siya and from what i've heard yung leather yung yung leather ng swoosh dito is better sa 2021s so this is actually seems to be a really nice leather on the swoosh and also ito tong part na to sa 2014 sa ano eh iba rin yung yung shape nito medyo mas hindi niya kuha yung OG so this is really the closest but what was released back in uh, 1980s
thank you for tuning in guys uh, again this is Mike from Soul Padres and in behalf of uh, Kapadring Vault thank you so much for the love and support if you guys are, are new to the channel make sure to subscribe like comment share and hit the notification bell peace